minute ago there were three monarch butterflies here. I tried to catch them. They're very fluttery. There's one over there. I don't know if I can capture it. Oh, they're so pretty. They seem to be enjoying the flowers. There's one. Whoa, where are you going, little guy? Where are you going? There, he's on this little plant here, drinking the flowers. Oh, I don't want to scare it. Better back off. Okay, well, it's really nice to see him. There's some milkweed around here so they can they can lay their eggs, so it's good. They're drinking the flowers and they'll be they'll be laying eggs when they're ready. It's nice to see it. I've really been enjoying seeing all the bees and butterflies and things come around the flowers around here. Both flower flowers and things like the mints. The mint um flowers, which don't really look very flowery, but apparently they give good nectar. This is one of the last things I think to bloom, but it's very, um, very pretty. Some little beetles and bees and tiny native, native pollinators. Lovely to see them. I wonder if I can show you this little one right here. It's very small. Can you see it? So tiny. Now there's enough chopped sticks, you know, bits of bits of wood and things, that they should have places to to lay their eggs and make make more for next year. Some people have bee houses you can buy for the, the native pollinators and I've been thinking about getting one of them but I don't know if I will. Gonna walk over to the mint. We can look at that too. There's usually some really interesting bees on that. It's been really hot here. Haven't wanted to film much, but I saw those monarchs and thought I'd try to capture them. Oh, here we were again, little one. Where are you going? Got things to do. Okay, Let's see if we get any bees here today. Oh, I don't see them. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure there were some earlier. There's a little, little reddish wasp over there. You probably can't see it. Okay. I'll show you these plants. This is a blueberry bush. There's another one there, on the other side of the mint, with those tall, tall little bits there. That, they got chewed back really hard last winter by the rabbits, so I'm glad they survived. Haven't gotten any blueberries off them this year. This is just some ground cover from a sweet potato plant. It's really going all over the place. I only put that in a couple weeks ago, so it likes it there. I don't know if I'll get any sweet potatoes from it or not. Oh, there's a bee! A hungry little bee. Let me get you on the camera here, buddy. They look fierce, but they're very happy when they're at the mint, so I'm not scared of them. Been noticing a lot of spiders out here, though. I know it's good for the environment, but I don't like running into their webs. And this, of course, is the other blueberry plant, the third one. I did get blueberries from this, although mostly the catbirds ate them. Never mind, I like the cat birds too. Okay. There's some pollinators and some plants. There's an apple tree over there. You can see my pokeweed in the corner. I'll say, see you later.